Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Yusef Scott and I thank you so much for being here with me. Um, I thank you guys for taking the time out of your day um, this morning to be here watching my videos or whenever you're actually watching this video, I just thank you. Um, I want you guys to, to know that uh, you know, if you're a loyal subscriber or a loyal viewer of my videos, I, mean, I really do appreciate you. Uh, so um, basically I have a, a video today that I want to uh, help you guys with. For those of you who are uh, interested in learning how to trade catastrophic news events, uh, very similar to what's going on with, with the Brexit situation, I'm going to help you guys realize uh, one of the best ways to trade this. All right. Now, whether the news event was planned or whether it was just something that just happened at random, um, this would be a little insight on how you can make um, you know the best uh, profit there is. Now, keep in mind that when you're when you're trading the uh, news events, the um, these news events are very very volatile. All right, and usually not usually, but every time you have a catastrophic news event, the um, what happens the the spreads are, are very 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 large you know margin and all that stuff are, are fluctuated so I want you guys to know that you know there's a great deal of uh, risk when you're trading this so you have to uh, realize a plan that's going to uh, help you um, in realizing profit much less taking your money all right so um, right here we're looking at the GBP and ZD and you notice um, the market shot down, right? Now, yesterday we were in training, and uh, we were actually training during this time. We were going over the chart, and and we, of course, this candle at this time, the day chart candle, was actually bullish. And then, before you know it, around seven o'clock or so, I guess the candle had shot down, all right, and it was jumping, it was moving everywhere, it was just moving. So that's when everything really took off and if you notice now this morning looking at your charts the uh, news was released and um, you know and you know they reached a, a um, an actual vote so um, so now you see the aftermath now I want to point something out to you guys uh, on this pair alone you see the market has moved down just about 1600 pips All right. And then let's take a look at the GBP AUD. And let's see how far this will move down. Looks like it's probably about the same. Not not too far off of what the GBP NZD did. But look at the comparison. Look at the AUD. Look at the NZD. Very close. All right, so um, with looking at this, you know, some some of you like you know pairs that that move identically. You know, this could have been realized. Let's drop down to the hour chart. Let's just look at the hour chart just for the sake of example. Let's see how similar these pairs are, even on the hourly. Right, NZD, AUD, NZD. AUD. Very similar. All right. So, um, what I want you guys to know is that basically, when you're trading these pairs, all right. Um, of course, that there's money to be made, but you want to be very, you want to be extremely careful because at a moment's notice, the market can go in the opposite direction. I'm talking about in less than a minute, in seconds. It can just go from this low to being reversed. So you have to be careful. It can hammer its way up and throw you out of the market like that without a, without a, without a, a you know, without a, anything, you know, you just out of the market, boom. So uh, it's nothing to be thrown out of the market when you're trading on news events. Let me show you how uh, it was, I mentioned this inside of the group uh, training yesterday. Um, this was January 15th, January 15th of last year. There was you know, a situation that happened in, in uh, Switzerland. And um, I had been warning people about it. 
hey, you need to watch out for this. You know, something's going to happen. The markets are consolidated. Something's going to happen. And I had a gentleman tell me that, uh, no, nah, it's, you know, nothing, nothing's going to happen. And it's always like that. Yeah, he was right in a sense. You know, that particular pair is always consolidated pretty much. But I knew what that meant. I knew what that meant. It's bound to but to to, uh, to burst. So let me let me show you that. Let me see. Don't have it on. Let me show you that euro. I think it's up towards the top. Here we go. Euro Swiss. All right. So let me show you exactly. Let's go to the day chart. Boom. All that is consolidation. It's not really like that when you. See that when you do that, you see that it's, but it's such, you know, the volume is very low. So, so you see this, and this is what happened. From there, all the way down to there. All right? Over 3,000, almost 3,500 pips. Okay? Now, um, another one, um, was that the bailout the bailout that was, that was also took place on the GDP and that was here this move here this Greece went up 17 to 1800 pips all right now something that I want you guys to to just look and see there is a there is a very distinct uh, it's, it's it's something that that happens when you have a move like this and basically what happens is you know the news release comes out and it hammers the market boom it goes up or boom it goes down it hammers the market and it will reach an all-time high now, now follow me or it will reach an all-time low at least for that time um, and then what will happen is let me put this down here what, what generally happens is the market will go up as far as it's going to go or go down as far as it's going to go and then it'll back off all the way off and go right back to the normal price action moves like it never happened when everything when when when, when dust settles everything resumes it'll go right back to where it was now that's that's typical but it doesn't have to happen that way so you have to be careful so what I'm what I'm what I'm telling you this. Let me just show you this one. Did you see the markets are backing off? They're sort of going back. All right. As you see, the market is backed off and it's going right back to price action. All right, like it never happened. All right. So just like when you go back here, the market went all the way down here. Yes, it didn't go back up here, but it, it found a you know it found a spot. And then it started to go back up. And before the drop, let's say here, just not long ago, let's look at and look back and see. You know, that was probably not the highest. Let's see. Maybe it was the highest. Okay, so since the drop, it's probably retraced like 60%, something like that, and over 50%. So, um, but basically, when you when the market drops, or if it shoots up, it'll normally go back. It'll back off, just like a pullback. All it is, it's pulling back. The market's pulling back, and it wants to get back to this area. All right, but you have to understand. The, the overall situation, you know, will, will the currency resume or go back to being as strong as it was before, you know, w without 
someone back in it, what can it get back to this level? That's the logic behind it. When you look at the GBP and ZD, and you see that the market pushed down, and you don't know how far it's going to back up, but you, you know that it's going to back up. And this is usually what happens. The market will hammer down, and then it'll back up. So if you're trading these pairs, timing is, is everything. Because if you, if, you, if you caught it when it was all the way down here, yes, in your mind, you're thinking, um, you don't know how far down it's going to go. But some people out here, some people in the world, they caught it here, and then it backed up. They said, you know what? I, I know what's going to happen. It's going to back up. And they would be in a profit right now, 400 pips plus. And, and this is what happens, the GBP AUD. It would be in a profit just about probably about 450 pips, 457. All right. So this is what happens on the uh, Euro um, Swiss. You look at this, the market fell down. Only 340 pips, but you know you have to remember this this pair here doesn't have a whole lot of volume to it so uh, you can not expect it to do like a whole you know a whole lot but it doesn't have a whole lot of volume but nonetheless it pulled back 178 pips but it's also at normal price action so uh, here the market dropped down and it pulled back now imagine if you had caught this trade down here and you knew that it was going to eventually back up and go back into the profit. Well, that was a year and a half ago. Today, um, well, let's say before this move down, you could have been, you know, you could have been in, still in the money. You know, you could have still been in the money. But this backed up, you know, over a thousand pips in, you know, during the same day of, of the drop. And then afterwards, it just kept going higher and higher and higher until reaching the point of where it is now. So um, I want you guys to understand how these moves take place. And even here, I mean, this is a classic move. Market moves up 17, 1800 pips, and it backs off another thousand pips, just about. And before the day ends, it's right where normal price action is, like it never happened. And you treat this as such a pullback. There's rejection. You're not going all the way up there. And the market sells off. So it's very common sense, a lot of this. You just have to have great timing. You have to have a plan. And that, that's it. So um, I just wanted to impart this knowledge on you guys. I just want to let you give you guys a little bit more feedback, a little understanding of how the catastrophic events, how they how they uh, shape up, how they take place, and how you can make some profit. All right. Until next time, you guys. I definitely appreciate you guys tuning in. You guys have a wonderful day. Enjoy your weekend. Stay positive, and peace.